Hey guys, welcome back to Jurassic Collectibles. So we're looking at something a little bit different today and they're these dinosaur figure kits. Now these come all the way from Creative Beast by David Silver. Um, here's his card and you can go and check out his website. I'll put his link down below. Um, he makes these very well articulated dinosaur figure kits. Um, he used to work for McFarlane Toys uh, before going independent making his own figures and uh, he happens to specialize in dinosaurs. So I thought these would be great to share with you guys and he very kindly sent over two of these kits. Now these kits are a bit pricey, $60 each. Um, um, but what you're getting is a very high-end, poseable, articulated figure. And I really like the style of these pieces. So we've got the Velociraptor here, and you can see him pictured there. And we've got the Oviraptor. Now we're going to start off with the Velociraptor kit. And uh, through a series of videos, uh, we're going to build up this figure and uh, see what it looks like when it's finished. So with this kit, I've got the cover sheet and then I've got the bag with the parts themselves in there. So you can see all the little parts, you can see the top of the jaw there. And these are really detailed, finely made parts, um, all cast in resin. And uh, the original, the master for this was hand sculpted by David Silver himself. And I have to say, David, you are extremely talented. I don't know how you do it. Okay, so let's get these out of the bag and we'll lay them out and take a closer look. Now the kits also come with these really handy construction layout cards which show you how the kits lay out anatomically which is really handy for painting. And uh, then below it just goes through some um, little tips uh, for making sure that the balls and sockets uh, fit together nicely. Um, so that's really cool. Um, these do come with a base, so you can keep this thing on display, you can see it there, it's a really nicely sculpted rocky base, and it also comes with a clear plastic pipe there, uh, which actually fits onto the underside of the dinosaur, so when you have this thing on display, um, it actually looks really, really nicely presented, and you can pose it in lots of dynamic sort of um, aerobatic poses, looking like it's sort of mid-jump. Okay, so here are all the parts out of the bag, and uh, wow, they look really, really detailed, very, very nicely sculpted. Uh, fantastic work, David. So let's take a closer look at some of the little parts. Here's a very sickle-like claw. I think we can all recognize where that's from. Really, really nice. And for those of you who are feather fans, you'll be pleased to know this one does have feathers. And uh, you can see they're very nicely sculpted here. And uh, David's gone for very much a sort of stylized dinosaur look, which I think is really, really appealing and cool. Here's one of the uh, hands. The claws really, really nice and sharp. Here's a closer look at that rocky base. Really nicely sculpted. And here's an example of one of the torso components, and you can see that everything is on ball and sockets. So uh, this is going to be really nicely articulated when it's done. And of course we have the clear rod that I mentioned earlier for the stand. So that's going to be cool. Here's the upper jaw. Again, really nicely stylized. I really like the style that you've injected into this Velociraptor, David. Fantastic work. So from speaking to David, I understand that his paint scheme was created entirely by hand using acrylic paints, which is staggering uh, when you consider the high quality finish that he's got going on here. Um, that's really, really impressive, David. Um, for me, I'm going to use some spray paints to do an overall coat. Um, and actually the style I'm going to go for uh, is Jurassic Park inspired. And uh, it's also a little bit festive because, you know, it's getting towards Christmas. I've decided to go for the Arctic T-Rex colour scheme uh, that we saw in the Jurassic Park 3 toy line. I'm really, really fond of this colour scheme. I think it's really bold and uh, quite stylized. Um, so it comprises mainly of a, a white body uh, with sort of a grey gradient going on towards the bottom. The claws are generally a, gl a darker grey and then the head is like a mixture of different blues with red eyes. Um, I might change the red eyes to a black eye with a white spot, a bit like um, the Toyway Resaurus line that we reviewed recently. So I've ordered my paints and they're on the way. Um, I've got a white enamel base coat. Um, I've got a grey spray for the gradient to grey on the legs. And then I've got some acrylics to do the blue touch-ups. So in the next video, we'll be painting these parts. And uh, I'm really looking forward to it. 
So I hope you enjoyed this introduction and uh, sort of a little overview of David Silver's uh, kits that he offers. Uh, go and check out his website because he offers loads more. And uh, in the meantime, rate, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.